right now at 530. Crime on camera. Thieves looking to break into cars early on Halloween morning. Police say they ended up committing a bloody attack on residents who caught them in the act. The thief became and the theft became an attempted murder. Police say when two young men returning home discovered him in their driveway. CBS 4's Gary Nelson live at Rider Trauma with the story. Gary. Well, this was as ghastly a crime scene as I have ever seen, and I've seen a lot of them. Just horrific in Little Havana this morning. It has left one man here at Ryder Trauma Center fighting for his life. Just after the witching hour, Halloween morning, a foreboding character, his hand over his face, obscuring it from security cameras, roams Northwest 24th Avenue near Flagler Street. He makes his way about checking for unlocked cars. He walks down a drive across the street, but minutes later, roommates who live there pull in the drive, and seconds after that, there is this, a bloody macabre mess after the marauder was confronted by the arriving residents. They tried to catch him, hold him, restrain him, housemate Oscar Alice told us, but he had a blade and they were stabbed. One victim was treated and released. A second, however, horribly wounded in ICU after trauma surgery. This longtime neighbor arrived home just moments before his street filled with police cars and rescue units. It's a little scary. I mean, it could have happened to me. I, I could have sh come in at the same at the time he was opening the car, just like it happened to my neighbors across the street. A few blocks from this bloody attack, police apprehended this person of interest. The same bushy hairstyle, knee-length, baggy-type shorts, white tennis shoes with dark socks. They confiscated his blood-spattered shirt, shorts, and shoes, giving him a change of clothes before putting him in a rescue unit for treatment of a cut of some sort on his leg. Back at the scene of the crime, the victims were described as salt-of-the-earth construction workers and they leave early in the morning they come in the afternoon and you know they're I'm sorry that happens to them you know it could happen to anybody in all his years he says violent crime like this has never happened on this street now, police have not identified uh, the two victims in this stabbing this morning, nor have they identified that uh, person of interest who was apprehended a few blocks away from the scene. They will not tell us if he is still in custody. They do say that no one is at yet under arrest. For now, we're live at Ryder Trauma Center, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.